video, you will learn how to use Google Classroom for the new normal on your cell phone. This is the best alternative since not all of us have computers or laptops. guys let's start if you haven't installed yet the google classroom app you have to go to play store type google classroom then download and install the app once the app is downloaded and installed on your phone Click open to get started. Click get started, then choose an email that you are going to use, then click OK. Welcome to your new Google Classroom. On the left side, you can find your classes, the notifications, the calendar, and the settings. On the upper right of your screen, you can see a plus sign. Once you click it, you have two options to choose from, Join Class or Create Class. If you're a student, you may click Join Class. But if you're a teacher, you may Create Class. Check the box that means you've read and understand the above notice. Then continue. So now, let's create a class. We have to type the class name then type the class section you may also type the room number and the subject Once you've already filled in the form, click Create. Just like Facebook, you can also share your ideas with your class. You may also share whatever thoughts you have or activities that you want them to do. You and your students can also add a comment. To start with our online class, let's click People and then let's add our students. Make sure to tell your students to create a Google account or email. Click here to add your students. Just type the name or email of your student. Here's an example. So let's start typing the name or the email address of the student. Once you've added the students, they will receive an email that you're inviting them to your online class. They will just simply click join to get access to your class. Once they join your class, they will be able to see everything you posted in your class. Once the student can see this, 
they can add a comment regarding your post. Now let's go to classwork. Let's add a topic of the activities that you're going to let them answer. So for example, your topic is the 8 parts of speech. If you're going to click the 3 dots on the right side, there are two options. Either you can rename the topic or delete the topic. Now let's add questions regarding with the topic. We can also add an instruction. We can also change the point value, the due date, Select short answer since the question is to enumerate the 8 parts of speech. You may add a link or a file for additional reference for the students. So here for example, I added a link from YouTube about the 8 parts of speech. They can watch the video for them to understand better the topic, and then they will be able to answer the questions. Now let's add another question, this time with multiple choices. You can type the options by clicking Add Option. So we're all set. Once the students hand in their answers, you may find it in the student answers. I think that's all you need to know for now. Just keep exploring Google Classroom for you to get familiar with it. For more interesting educational videos, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get updated of my latest videos.